In the past, developing in ModX has been difficult. Despite having a great underlying framework, ModX stores code in the database, so development has always been a battle, and the file system and your code editor would usually be the losers. To further complicate things, ModX packages install files in two locations. PHP files go into the core, whereas images, CSS, and JavaScript go into assets. That makes it difficult for a developer to version their project because Git brings only one directory under version control, not two. Also, ModX has been left behind when it came to Composer and the easy integration of PHP packages. To top it all off, after overcoming all of the other challenges, developers had to learn to build ModX transport packages if they wanted to share their work with the community. It was a dark and difficult time for ModX developers. Enter Repo Man. Repo Man is a repository manager for ModX Revolution that makes ModX development fast and simple. It allows you to keep all your code in one directory under version control. It integrates seamlessly with Composer so you can leverage the work of others to solve your problems. And it can build transport packages out of your project without any extra work from you. Let me show you how this works. Repo Man is both a command line tool and a custom manager page. Once it is installed, you need to define a directory that is web accessible somewhere on your ModX site. It needs to be web accessible because your packages may contain images or CSS or other files that need to be publicly accessible. That directory is where you will work on your packages while they are in development. As an example, I'm going to create a directory named Packages, and I'm going to clone the Git repository of one of my plugins into it. This is a plugin I wrote named Bloodline. Let's get it installed without a transport package. I type git clone and then I paste the URL. Once the cloning is complete, it's a good idea to run composer install. This will download any dependencies the project may have and it will generate autoload files. Autoloading, by the way, can really clean up your code and save you development time. Not every project will use external packages or autoloading, but running composer install or composer update is a good habit to get into. Once the package and any of its dependencies have been downloaded, you can install it using RepoMan. In the manager, refreshing the RepoMan page will show the new repository, and you can click the Install button. See how some new elements were installed? This workflow is useful if you're working with a team of developers. One developer can make changes, push them to Git, and then another developer can pull them down into his local repository and use RepoMan to update the ModX site. Although RepoMan was designed with Git workflows in mind, Git is not required to use RepoMan. You can download the zip file of any package that's compatible with RepoMan and install the bleeding edge version on your site. Here's a package I wrote named Query, and I can download the zip file and extract it to my designated directory and it shows up on RepoMan's radar. I could install it from the manager by clicking here, but I'll demonstrate how you can use the command line to install packages. Run Composer install. Then I run the RepoMan command line utility to install the package. PHP RepoMan install, and then the path to the directory. If you're curious, RepoMan can be dogfooded. Just for kicks, let me show you that I can, in fact, use RepoMan to install itself. First, I can uninstall the package using the uninstall command. All the command line tools needs as an argument is the path to the repository. I can reinstall RepoMan by running the install command. The point is that as long as your project follows RepoMan's conventions, it will be able to install it or build a transport package from it. How does this work? RepoMan relies on the composer.json file to tell it how to process your code. You add a few custom attributes to the extra section and RepoMan takes it from there. Chunks and snippets and plugins and templates rely on inline documentation called doc blocks to define object attributes. You don't need to be a rock star developer to make this work. You just need to follow a few simple conventions and you'll be on your way. The wiki pages are full of examples. The trick is that you need your code to work both in a development environment and in a production environment where the directory paths may be completely different. Instead of hard coding ModX core path as part of your include or require statements, you structure your code so it defers to the system settings that RepoMan creates for you. In a PHP snippet, that might look like this. 
in a template that would take advantage of the assets URL system placeholder. Let me show you what I mean by creating a new repository. In the ModX Manager, head to the Repo Man page and click the Create New Repository button. I fill in a few details here, including what kind of project this is, and I click Create. I can always add things later if I need to. Here's my template. I can adjust the template name and description, and I can, of course, edit the HTML. I can reference my chunk. I can reference my assets here by using the custom namespace.assetsurl placeholder, named after my package's namespace. I can update my snippet here. Let's say I want an output filter that converts text from Markdown to HTML. Hey, no need to reinvent the wheel. There's already a packages package out there that does exactly what I need. I edit the composer.json file, add the unique identifier and version in the require section, then I can run composer install or composer update on subsequent changes, and my project will have all that it needs. To leverage third-party packages downloaded via Composer, my snippet just needs to include the vendor slash autoload.php file. So I follow the conventions outlined to identify the path, and then I know my third-party packages will be loaded automatically without any additional include or require statements. I save my work, and then I can run repoman install to install my files into ModX, or subsequently I can run the update command if I have added new files. If I want to track my project using Git, it's no problem because all my files are in one directory. I just need to create the remote repository and push my changes. If I want to build a transport package and install this project as a package on a production site, I just need to run the build command and then grab the transport.zip file that it generates. I hope you can see how much easier this makes ModX development. Finally, you can quickly and easily create new projects and bring them under version control. No more underscore build directories and custom build scripts to get in the way of your project's code. So now it's easier than ever to build packages and distribute them with the ModX community. This isn't everything RepoMan has to offer, though. Check out the wiki for examples of its advanced features. Welcome to the future. Repossess simplicity.